So in my last video, I talked about how a camera in 1957 was able to capture a flying manhole at a thousand frames per second. Not sure where the recorder at a thousand FPS comes from, but it's very misleading. In 1957, there was no camera capable of doing that kind of slow motion. Nope. Way before the 1957 nuclear test, in the 1930s, Eastman Kodak already created a camera that can run 60mm films at a thousand frames per second. The camera was purchased by Bell Telephone Laboratories, and they developed the camera to be able to do up to 5,000 frames per second, and they named this camera FastAct. And June 23, 1950, Bell sold this design to Woolen Sack Optical Company, and they improved this camera to do 18,000 frames per second. You see, the invention of high-speed cameras was needed for nuclear bomb testings. In order to create a nuclear reaction and achieve critical mass, a piece of plutonium that's about the size of a baseball had to be compressed into half of its size. And they would do this with an array of explosives. All 32 of them had to be triggered within one microsecond, so they needed to use a high-speed camera to see how effective this explosion around the core was. 